Alrighty. Mm, no fancy intros. Oh, squeaky right over here. Should have a good help. Alright, let's go ahead and just point that right there. Hand here. How's it going, folks? This is my my hand. Uh, this is your best fox. I'll be uploading this video eventually. And I'm just going to go ahead and crack a box of cards today. Now we got a list up right here. Uh, because this is a list of all the cards in the set that I'm going to be opening called The Watcher Chronicle, which is for uh, Highlander. Pretty cool, right? So, I got a booster box here, sealed, and crack this open and see if we can get our hands on uh, some good cards. Got my handy-dandy safety knife here. Uh, let me go ahead and cut this open. This is a live unboxing. This is, I mean, I haven't really seen a video of this being unboxed before because this game was out in the 90s, long before the advent of YouTube. All right. Ugh. Woo! Look at that. It's actually sticker sealed. So, like, you can, you can see it's open there. But, like, uh, there's a sticker right there. Ah, there we go. Nice and open. I'll move the camera over here a little bit so you guys see what it looks like here. Fresh unboxing. These cards have not seen uh, the light of day Oof, since... Do we have a product time and date on here? Yeah, right there. I'll show it to you right there. If the focus is... 1996 Thunder Castle games. Pretty cool. I'm gonna set some there. And this is a game long before uh, foils existed, but they had things that were known as premiums. And uh, now I've already got a fairly decent uh, amassment of this in the shape of my binder. Which uh, move the camera here? You guys can see, I've got I've got a few holes here and there, so I'm I'm obviously going to be hunting down some cards, clearly some more there, all well, those, and they're all in the order that's listed here on the Watcher. Uh, this is the WatcherDatabase.tk. So I'm going to be hunting down some cards to complete a set. Position first one here. To the other hand. These packs are surprisingly easy to open, which means they don't seem like they're sealed that much. Plot twist. Got plenty of those, plenty of those. The hardest part about this, I think, and obviously then looking at getting doubles of cards in packs, is knowing what the rares are. And even I don't 100% know what all the rares are. Um, so it's all about guessing, and so what I'm looking for here are uh, personas or cards I know that I don't have a lot of. So, just with that to torque clean up, like, whoop. Yeah, upside down. Uh, one thing you can do, um, if you're feeling absolutely kind of in the mood, is you can actually just go on the back of the cards, because persona cards don't have the standard back. Alright, so... I think that's the rare. I don't think I actually have that card yet, so I'm going to set that aside and check it later. Um, membership card. There's legit backing. So this is, I guess, the, they place these in here sometimes, and you get, you collect four of these cards and accumulate five dollars. Uh, oh, accumulate four of these cards for a cumulative five dollars off a one-year membership to the Nexus Official League program. Yeah, no, that 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 doesn't seem right. Look at that. age, sex, all oh, just all the stuff on there. Just the silly little things that you can find. Now these are all based on the the Highlander TV show, which actually aired in the nineties. Back sneaker. Look at that. Some of these cards are even backwards. Just like they they flip them for reasons beyond my knowledge. So let's see what we got here. The, the, the thing that I've noticed in this game is, is that every card in here, you can actually have a maximum of of six cards uh, 
per. So like six is the max per card you can have, but there are some cards that are restricted, you know, but the maximum of any given card is gonna be, uh, oh, see right there, we got a, actually, you know what, I think that's a premium. Uh, it is a premium, it's a premium Kern. The way you can tell these different, uh, as opposed to the regular Persona cards, well, if I ever get a Persona card, I'll show you, is the fact that they have the white border. They're actually a, like, shinier cardstock. I'm trying to get the light to reflect off that. You can see that there, versus the not-so-reflective. You know, you definitely get a much more sheen on this. So this is like a, a premium card. So, so that means I can play the current card. And you can actually get multiple rares in a pack, which is really impressive. They didn't... Um, Restrict it down to one rare per pack. You could pull, um, like I could pull that premium and still pull a, a, um, a Persona card, and all Personas are rare. So you could pull more, and you can. I pulled two Personas in one pack earlier. Good stuff. All oh. customer satisfaction card. Look at that. Nope, oh, there's a personality. Persona, so tell. So I actually don't have her yet, and right off the bat, I know all the Duncan McLeod cards in the set are rare. So that's a Persona, which is a rare. This is a Duncan McLeod card, also a rare. Um, yeah, and I'll obviously I'll sort these all out later, but yeah, just. just Bah. So, so far so good. So right off that, no white, no premiums. Okay. Yeah, the Nefertiti. Uh, I know for a fact these are rares. You can actually check the database here if we went all the way to the bottom. Uh, uh, so, that's a rare right there. And again, Duncan McLeod, another one. That's a rare. Pulled two rares in one pack. This is this is just kind of like the way this goes, you know. There's these are small sets too, you know. They're not they're not like Magic where they're going to be insanely huge. And you can't um, combine it. Lighthouse is a rare. You can't like um, you know, see those Pokemon guys who who pull their pack or is at the very back. You can't do that. That's just... Speaking of which, why do people do that? The rares in the pack. Why save it for the end? You know you're gonna get it. Why even bother forcing it out? I don't know. This is a dead card game and I enjoy that. Yep. See, there we go. Persona. And this is a Watcher actually. Uh, we got uh, James Horton. Gotta be some Highlander fans out there who know what's going on. There we go, Duncan. And so this up here you can see, uh, the number two, that actually tells you how many you can have in the deck. So, no number, max six. Some number, max that. Another Persona. I already have him actually, so I don't really need to worry about that. Your persona is who you are for your deck, and uh, yep. And there's another persona. Look at that. All these personas. I already got him though, so I don't really need more of him. And we're gonna keep looking and keep looking. Oh, that's a rare. Uh, Amanda. Oh, all those are rares. I just got an email. This pack seems a little thicker than normal. I often wondered if you'd be able to weigh the packs or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, nope, same amount. I got nothing. I'm just gonna keep cranking these packs. Looking for those personas. Or those rares, or those premiums, you know? There's there's some pretty good premiums out there. Trying to complete my sets, you know? No whites, so no premiums. 
all these cards. And I've already got, like I said, I've got a vast majority of most of these. I know I need one more of those, so that's going to complete that. It's going to complete the set because I only needed two. Almost all the rest of these I have my max numbers of. Uh, so there's like no no point to look for them other than me getting the premiums or the or the personas that I don't have. And then there's a backwards card. You know, gave me hope for a moment. It's just a backwards card. That's hilarious. Back in the day, their sorting systems were just not that great, I guess. Another rare. Good stuff. That's a rare. Yeah, I think the best part about this is the fact that these are pictures from the TV show, which, to be 100% honest, though, wow, that's also a rare. I've actually never seen much of the TV show. Alright. Okay, so that, that's actually what I need. Because that's I only have. Okay. All the good stuff there. You know, I actually have uh, some start decks that I, that I purchased too. Uh, mind you, I got purchased all of these cards through a website called uh, Hills Wholesale Gaming. 100% recommend. Good for dead card games. Um, big fan of the dead games, so I like to play nine dead card games. It's not bad. Um, give me time, I'll eventually get up to a lot more. I'm going to start uh, recording these to YouTube and just getting links and posting them to my friends so they can see all the dead... Oh, look, there. White card. And... Aww. Oh. The hopes were there, but now they're dashed. So I'm going to keep looking at some cards here. Nothing much here. All these Hugh Flitzcairn. I really need... Alright, and then Duncan McLeod, that is again another rare. All these cards I feel I wish they were numbered. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like this is back in the nineties, there was no real numbers in the American system, but you know we can all hope. I, have, I see a black right there. It's kinda hard to see, but if I pull it a little more, there we go. Persona card. That's gonna be Nope, didn't where'd it go? Where where where, where is it? Ah. This guy again. Got two of them now. Uh, Watcher Regionals are rare. The game seems rather easy to learn. Not gonna lie, it seems like it'd be kind of a, a great game to just kind of pick up and play, you know? Oh, Persona card right on the back. Actually, Premium Persona card. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll see who that is here at the... <laughs> okay. No, that's Nexus card. And we get Amanda. Uh, it's funny because she's actually, there's no persona for her in this set. It's just a premium. So I can't actually play this unless I have the uh, original card. Because it even says on the back uh, to play this card before the game begins in conjunction with the Amanda persona card. So they're great. It's great to have it. I just have no use for it. Look at that. Except there was that. There's Persona. That's actually Annie. I know that because I've actually got her. I got her premium and her, so it's not a good thing. It's not well. It's not a bad thing. Wow, I just said not a good thing. What is wrong with me? Jesus. All right, another customer satisfaction card. I am spent on this box. It's really not that much to spend on a on a on a dead card game. Yeah, and again, this is it is a dead card game. There's there's no no real they don't remake they don't make more of it. It doesn't exist. It's gone. So buying it is super cheap, and I like the uh, it's rare the I like it for that reason. I like dead card games because there's no uh, another rare there. There's no uh, what am I saying? 
there's no, um, nothing new coming out. You know, there could be a community who support this game, who follow this game. You know, it could very well easily be a thing. Uh, there's a rare. And they could definitely still exist and still be making the car own personal cards. Again, entirely plausible. Um, I got like, how many dojos I got in this pack? Look at that. There's three dojos. Just like, yes, I need three dojos. Thank you. But they're rage. All right, I'm going to keep going here. There's a black card right there, Persona. That's going to be Kern. Kern. So he's got my rare there. And then we're going to see if there's any other rares in this pack. Um, a couple of different watchers. This one with the with the limited two is is a rare. See, there's another watcher there. So they actually have different variances based on what they say below. I think we're doing pretty good so far, getting two premium cards. Um, no, actually, you know what? We're up to three premium cards in this box. That's not bad. Nothing. So we're going to get some more Rage. So Rage is a rare. Um, you'd be surprised that some of these are not. You know, some of these uh, really good block cards aren't rare. They're just uncommon. The harder to find cards are more like the the power play cards, like the ones that do more damage or that can do more abilities. But like a lot of the like the cards that can just block really well are just fair game. There's a watcher. Joe Dawson. More dojos. Don't need more dojos. Could use less dojos. I see a white card is a customer satisfaction card. Well, you know, that, that's a thing. Oh, and look, an official rules. That That is, okay, so that kind of bugs me right there. Getting both of these takes away from the 15 carding what you paid for, and based on what I'm seeing here, well, that's a rare. Um, they don't really give you much. Um, yeah, they're taking away card slots to give you these official rulings, and it's not the best in the world, but what, what, what can you do, right? Well, rare, so getting those is good. You know, I don't even have a Duncan McLeod card. Yeah, Duncan McLeod, the Clan McLeod. You guys ever see the show? Oh, and there's another McLeod card right there on front. Master's Block, Duncan McLeod. Look at that. Alright, and then we're gonna keep looking. Keep looking up, and we got some upside down cards. Just keep them upside down, no point at this point. Honestly, if the game were still active and that was what I pulled, then yeah, I'd probably be pretty happy with that. Alright, and then last pack. Not seeing any personas. So we got Hidden Explosives, another rare. I actually already have all those, so I don't need that. Uh, all right, Master Swordsman, this is a good rare. Um, um, I'm gonna keep going here. Keep going and done. There it is. That is a full booster box of Highlander, um, the Watcher Chronicles. And, um, by all means, if you get a chance, head over to Hills Wholesale Gaming. Um, if I if I actually go ahead and I can pull it up right here, there it is. Um, you know, this isn't a shout out for any kind of sponsorship or anything, but it's it's quite literally just a full. Oop, not what I want to do there. It's a full listing of dead games. These are games that are no longer in existence, but they have a huge wholesale amount of. And uh, they, they sell everything that you need for really great rates. We're going to go ahead and take a look here at the Highlander game, uh, which I just got. 
All right, Highlander, open up. Thank you. And you can see here that uh, the boxes that I bought, the Highlander Watcher Chronicles limited box, looks like they went up in value, but you're getting $8 for per box. They ship anywhere in the U.S. Um, here, go on to the Hills Wholesale. Comment down below what game you guys think I should take a look at next, and um, and we'll go ahead and get some stuff working here. So, um, once again, you know, and, and just to go ahead and throw this out there, and again, just last minute, this is what the starter decks look like. Um, I got a bunch of these opened already, but I have about, I want to say, eight of these left. So, to give you guys a little bit of insight here, um, I'm always open for doing gaming, but these are the games that I currently play. You can take a look there. Dune, Warlord, Highlander. We got Lord of the Rings, Mega Man, WWF Raw Deal, and then we got D3 Dragon Ball games up there. Um, I'm always looking for more to play. I want more to add to this. I'm going to probably get this pinned up here at some point. And, uh, yeah, I know this is just me starting out and everything, but uh, I hope to turn this into a really cool thing. If you're anything, just, I just hope you enjoyed the box. Have a great one, guys.